After completing the preceding process, start the FECO emulsification. Dig up the epinucleus to the point where it is as smooth as marble. After grooving the lens, divide the lens into two parts based on the grooves. Aspirate the first quadrant directions lens. This is reverse chopping, counterclockwise chopping, which is a useful technique for FECO emulsification. A chopper enters the area near the posterior capsule or limbus and then turn the chopper counterclockwise with a wider width. Then lift the lens slightly to the center with the chopper while at the same time a FECO pulls the lens with a vacuum to fix it. With the lens fixed, Cut the lens with the chopper to make a smaller fragment, and then aspirate the small fragment with the FECO. Send the lens at 7 o'clock direction to the center while tapping with the chopper. Then the FECO fixes the lens with a vacuum, and the chopper chops the lens into small pieces. Remove the remaining lens carefully. This technique is used when the person's visual field is bad, when the nucleus is too soft, and when the zonule is weak. First, this technique is useful to people with poor visual field. If you're operating in a poor visual field, such as a small pupil, avelino corneal dystrophy, and a pool of water in eye, the iris could cut by the FECO. However, this technique does not catch the iris because it rotates the chopper counterclockwise and then slightly lifts the lens. Therefore, it can be useful when the visual field is bad. This technique is also useful when the nucleus is too soft. If the nucleus is too soft, it is hard to fix and chop the lens. In addition, Posterior capsule can be sucked up in an instant when the nucleus is aspirated. However, this technique is safe as the chopper lifts up the lens slightly to the center and the FECO aspirates the lens into the center. This technique is good for people with zonule weakness. Lifting the lens could damage the zonule. However, this technique Rotates the chopper counterclockwise, making the FACO and chopper interlocked. This eliminates the need for lens lift widely by the chopper, which is less likely to damage the zonule. It also can be useful when the nucleus is incompletely split in half. Let's watch this video again with slow motion. Chopper enters the area near the posterior capsule or limbus, and then turn the chopper counterclockwise with a wider width. Move the chopper like this. Then lift the lens with the chopper slightly, and the FECO pulls the lens with vacuum to fix it. Then chop the lens that is fixed by vacuum. Then aspirate the lens fragments. If the chopper fails to enter and rotate, tap the lens to make it easy for the chopper to enter.